Welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. If you're new to this channel, on this channel we combine WDGAN analysis along with cycle analysis from Banner and Box Theory along in combination with the Elliott Wave analysis. So three or four different techni technical analysis are combined together to answer important questions and that is where exactly the price ex is heading. In today's video, we are going to continue our analysis of forex market if you're concerned about what's happening with US dollar, what's happening with Euro, British pound, Canadian dollar, the Japanese yen, and New Zealand dollar. So I'm going to discuss them one by one and after that I'll see if we can comment on the stock market that would include US indices, uh, UK index, uh, areas nifty 50 and then we'll see if we can include gold and silver as well. So stay tuned and let's see how it's going starting from Euro. First of all, um, after Monday, I posted on, I think, uh, Monday evening, I posted an analysis about uh, Euro, and which is right over here. Give me a moment. Let's see if you can actually find the labeling. Where is that all labeling? Okay, okay, where is British Pound? Let me have a look at, because I labeled it, and all of a sudden that labeling has gone now. So why is that labeling gone? Give me a moment, okay? Let's have a look at on hourly time frame. Maybe it's visible only on hourly time frame. There it is. So the labeling itself is only I have changed the setting of the labeling. It's only available on visible on hourly time frame. So and uh, first of all, have a look. We have uh, I've clearly labeled this price movement as one and two and wave three and four and wave five. And on my previous analysis, I commented that we have completed the five-wave structure and we need a daily reversal candle to give us an indication that we are to go right in the bullish side, somewhere over around, uh, around this area. And I also commented that we have a trend line that's covering the fifth wave and the another trend line that's actually uh, encompassing wave two and wave four. When we connect both of these lines, and then we make a trend line. So let's see what's happening on that regard. First of all, let's have a look at uh, daily time frame. As you guys are aware of it, we definitely have seen a daily reversal pattern. The candlestick right around the resistance area, right around this is the resistance area, double bottom I have told you guys. And you can now look at it, double bottom with this one and that one. And right now we have seen a bullish pa bullish candlestick. Or after the bullish candlestick, we have seen accumulation pattern. Let's have a look at that accumulation pattern hourly time frame and there it is now the important thing that I wanted to bring in points right over here is division of by 8 of the previous range this is uh, one of the GAN methodologies if you are new to it um, it's simply it's not Fibonacci analysis I used I simply used a division by 8 and we have some important information with that regard and we can see that we have seen first major resistance right over here at 2 by 8 25 percent of the move and then we came down and then we went up again right over here but if you are aware of Elliott wave analysis you probably are looking it at right A, B and T and that's exactly I'm looking at it I'm right now considering it as a W and I'm considering this as an X and we have wave 1 and wave 2 and wave 2 is a flat correction especially expanded flat correction so wave 1, wave A, wave B and wave C right now since we have seen the first resistance coming at 2 so I'm expecting that if we are to see any sequence in it, uh, the next target should be at 50% right over here. So this is our potential target. Let's have a look and uh, if you can actually use the arrow. Yeah, that will be much better instead of using the whole trend line. Okay, this is our potential target for Euro on the bullish side. I was expecting 5 by 8, uh, but 4 by 8 is not that bad. Right now we are trading right around... 12.5% uh, of the previous range so this gives us right now one ratio 3 uh, to a risk to reward ratio on euro if you want to enter right over here and you want to put your stop loss right over here that would give you uh, given that we our targets rise over here that would give you uh, a potential target uh, trade of 3 ratio 1 of profit to loss ratio which is good enough now do understand that when I present these videos, these present the whole purpose of is to demonstrate that how Elliott wave analysis 
becomes good when it's combined with different technical analysis. I'm not talking about traditional technical analysis. I'm talking about WD GAN analysis. I'm talking about banner cycles. I'm talking about box theory. All of that, when combined together, uh, gives pretty good insight on what's happening. So let's have a look right over here. We can see that now support is coming in handy. We on an hourly time frame, we can see a double bottom is forming right over here. So I'm expecting that uh, this is wave one and wave two and wave three probably the next important and wave four and then we are to see probably something like this. So right now what's not being confirmed by the price action is whether the wave three would end over here or it would end over here and wave four would give a pullback. So it's up to you. Normally we are aware of it that normally wave threes are strong. So in that regard, it can definitely push to all the way right over here and we can see wave four and five over here. I'm expecting that today and tomorrow are going to be bullish day and we are to encounter a top happening right over here. In my previous analysis, I stated that uh, we are to expect a sharper move upward and then correction probably some sort of messy behavior and then right over here. But the p pattern we can see that instead we found our first resistance right over here and this is our correction. So right now I'm considering it as an A, a B and this whole as wave C. Let me see if I can find some uh, Elliott wave labeling so you can actually give you some help on uh, what I'm looking at it and you are not getting confused. I'm considering this as A and this as B and I'm considering start somewhere around this as C. This is the start of pattern and within that pattern A, B, C, wave C is further divisible by into five wave structure. So we can consider this as wave one. Uh, this is the start of the pattern. So we consider this as wave one and two right over here and then wave three somewhere over here and a pullback and a wave five. This is expected to be finishing by tomorrow. I'm expecting by the end of tomorrow. So we have to see uh, a lot of minute, unless you can go sub minute, okay? Here it is. Our labeling for Elliott wave analysis of Euro is in front of you, and right now is presenting a very beautiful trading setup. So this accumulation pattern, where it ex hap exactly happens, is too hard to say. But if you follow the price action and you s stay patient, it market always always gives you uh, a chance to get into the trend before the actual trend actually happens before the 80 percent of the trend would actually happen let's have a look at uh, British pound and see how British pound is doing uh, so let's have see if we can actually use um, eight divisions right over here here are our eight divisions once again we can find that our resistance is is somewhere around actually two and a half boxes right over here okay so two boxes right over here. This is 25% plus a half box. So kind of another 6.25%. So it can give you 31% somewhere around. So that if that is the case and our resistance is right over here, I'm expecting that we should actually somewhere uh, see our some uh, you know potential target somewhere over here, which makes it half and half, right? Let me use another one and see if he can actually find the 50% uh, between the targets right over here. So is this price movement, the inner price movement is kind of sh just a bit shy of the 50% of the target. And we can see that when we draw, when we drew, give me a moment, let me remove that. So right now we can see there is no mathematical value coming right over here. But when we drew one uh, percentage tool inside another, uh, we can see that the now target is coming at 12.5% of the one that we have drawn. That means that this is 12.5%. We are finding support at 6.125%. Uh, all right. So we are finding support at 6.125%, which is half of the previous box. It's also a pretty good idea. In that case, this top becomes valid at 50%. So we have seen a truncation coming at 50%, and expecting that our target should be somewhere over here at five boxes. So it's pretty good. British pound is expected to go around somewhere in the fifth box. Uh, right over here so we are just moving just above one point uh, in that range if you want to use you can definitely use a previous slow here but it is advisable to go right over here I won't spend time on labeling this it's a similar pattern wave A and wave B and wave 1 and wave 2 and we have already started to reverse so I'm expecting some behavior right over here our potential target remains in 1.206 area let me bring the arrow right over here and we can draw that arrow if some of you guys are interested once again British pound is expected to create a top uh, somewhere in the middle of the buy or by the end of 
uh, Friday it can happen earlier uh, Monday as well like in the night session but I'm expecting that Friday is going to be a bullish day and then Monday is expected to be a bearish day as a whole so let's see how things are gonna ha go I'll see if I can quicken this and give you guys some time to join the trend Canadian dollar once again we are looking at a previous impulse wave right over here we can definitely use an 8 wave structure uh, right over here I mean 8 division tool our first target that we have seen is coming at f uh, right over here let's have a look the first resistance came in at 3 right over here 3 boxes away we can consider that our next would be somewhere around 6 boxes at 75% right over here so we are right now considering that uh, Canadian dollar is going to fall further down I'm considering this as A and this as wave B so wave 1 and 2 and then we are seeing 3 f and 4 and 5 right over here our potential target remains at 75% of the previous impulse range in Canadian dollar let's have a look at Japanese yen and the uh, same with goes with the Canadian dollar I'm expecting that today and tomorrow which is Thursday and Friday are expected to be bullish and from Monday we are starting to we're expecting to see reversal coming again is exactly going as we planned in uh, forex market against US dollar Japanese yen is um, showing more strength as compared to the other forex players that we have seen we can simply draw the uh, tool right over here and so let me have a look here we can see that we have gone down three uh, three boxes already and we are finding support right over here at two boxes our next target will be three boxes further away which is 75 percent right over here so we are looking for Japanese Gen to create a bottom somewhere around 75 percent I've done this um, experimentation and found that this box was working better from this bottom instead of this bottom right over here so maybe uh, right now the way the angles are working right now we can definitely combine it as a five wave structure right over here from this bottom but right now we have probably have two boxes one from over here and one from over here and the way the range is acting is actually acting out on the inside box and that's why I've drawn this on uh, Japanese gen once you get to use to WD GAN analysis and you kind of start using the right boxes uh, it comes with time so we have wave A and wave B and we can clearly see wave 1 and 2 and then we're going further down probably a stronger move downward as I said six boxes alright uh, right over here so I think we have quite a bit of move left in Japanese gen so it's um, l let's see what happens right over here we can definitely use that arrow to combine our uh, tool right over here I would just uh, New Zealand dollar is right over here too let's have a look at what's happening previous impulse wave right over here this is the labeling that we have done on the previous impulse wave and we can see that we have kind of found our uh, it's coming along with just like a British pound we are kind of finding uh, resistance within at uh, in the middle of the third box so I'm expecting that we should be seeing uh, top around uh, right over here 2.5 and 2.5 so that will be five boxes right it's right over here 62.5 percent is our uh, potential target for Canadian uh, New Zealand dollar let me put an arrow right over here if some of you guys are interesting same pattern going on nothing has been different right over here we can consider it as a W and X and we have wave 1 and 2 and we have to move upward US dollar is showing pretty interesting pattern as well race in front of you guys right over here I have uh, seen uh, the previous move and we have only seen a major resist coming at two boxes so we have to see probably coming at 50 percent which forms a top right behind, uh, above the previous structure so it can tell you you can tell how strong US dollar is right now acting out we have W X and Y we have wave 1 and 2 3 and 4 and then wave 5 uh, is gonna happen and after that uh, timeline is same I'm expecting next two days including today Mo um, Thursday and Friday to be bullish and I'm expecting Monday I will start seeing reversal all right uh, let's see if we actually see this uh, target being met somewhere around noon tomorrow so I think I'm gonna go long I'm not gonna take chances because we might see a gap opening on Monday 
let's have a look at gold and um, let me go on stocks right over here let's have a look at gold and then we'll move do a quick one on uh, stocks right over here too this labeling was done uh, before you with so I told you that we were expecting bullish move on uh, gold just because we were expecting strength in uh, Joro this pattern was not absolutely clear but uh, depending on <coughs> the strength in Joro and the correlation our call was exactly right so right now I'm considering this as a W and an X I'm considering this whole price movement as a 1 and wave 2 and I'm expecting that we shall carry on actually right over here let me have a look actually we can actually draw the right over here and see what's we can see that it came at around exactly as you can say 2.75 right so we are just three quarters within the smaller box so double off it is 6.5 62.5 uh, plus a half right over here so we should be expecting somewhere around this which gives us a stop of right around in that region so I'm expecting that our potential target is somewhere in this area which gives us 1782 it's gonna be very very beautiful uh, target for gold and it will be amazing amazing short trade given that we are getting very very close to the top Remember that on the I'm bullish for gold and silver in a couple of days, and then I'll turn bearish starting from Monday. Silver is game exactly same. If you want to look at where the potential target is, let's have a quick look at it. Silver, we can dr definitely draw an eight box, uh, eight equal division. We have first major resistance coming right over here, 25 percent. So I'm expecting that this should be our potential target silver is right now not presenting a beautiful trading setup on its own so I would give you the target if you guys are interested but the the way the price action is happening I'm expecting that we have W X V 1 2 and 3 4 and 5 some sort of ending triangle can happen in all of these markets please be aware of it let's have a look at um, you know you guys are aware of it that is kind of moving along with the uh, Forex market right so I'm expecting the and that some strength is expected to grow for uh, next couple of days that includes today and tomorrow I would not bet on it right here but if it gets up on it that would be definitely definitely a very beautiful trading setup for it let's have a look at what we are seeing right now because we are seeing uh, double bottom forming right over here on an hourly time frame which is important on its own so we can say W X and in that case W X and Y alright so a lot of you guys are considering that okay if this is the case then what what do you mean by W X in that case we have an A and a B and a C very elongated C we can expect we have and uh, it's called a flat pattern in which wave C is much longer in comparison to uh, wave A so we can see right now that wave 1 right over here and wave 2 it does not look like that's gonna happen but uh, once again let's have a look that we have truncation at 25 percent potential target at 50 percent which will go us right over here and let's go for it let's see what's happening in gold and silver and in other f um, forex currencies you can see a similar behavior so we this gives us right right over here so we have seen this important structure right over here prices went up created a top and prices came below it crossed the lower and actually came right over here in that regard and then we are expected to see a top right over here which is kind of also a bottom for this price action so it's a good one right over here it does not give us a, a trading setup on its own I don't think so it's pretty good on its own because it's giving us similar price um, store I mean uh, profit to loss ratio that we have seen in silver I think it's not an ideal one but it's your choice if you want to see uh, US Dow Jones is I think giving a similar BA pattern right over here and S&P is giving a similar pattern that's FTSE let's have a look FTSE I'm bearish on FTSE I've told you guys we have seen an initial decline and I'm expecting that we shall actually see we have to act, uh, drop in below the trend line we have seen the prices come back and a pullback right over here it's kind of giving you a head and shoulder pattern 
this hole is had and this is one shoulder right over here so I think that we are now going further down in FTSE let's have a look at nifty what's happening with nifty uh, nifty is following US markets so we should expect actually look for a similar pattern right over here this is not a good one give me a moment give me a moment I might have done something terrible wrong let me see the daily time frame yeah yeah that's right no worries let's have a look at nifty because I'm not seeing a lot of there you go daily time frame chart let's have a look at hourly time frame I would be bearish on nifty I would be bearish on nifty I think we have um, a lot of strength to continue right over here and I would continue on being bearish it's a similar behavior right we are seeing in uh, FTSE as well the structure is actually we have broken the trend line pull back complete I would try I will continue on being uh, bearish on nifty let's have a look at DAX let's have a look on a daily time frame I want to see how many days we have spent okay have a look on hourly time frame to see where we shall be expecting yes yeah, I think we are expecting a pullback in DAX okay I'm expecting that we should actually I'm bearish on DAX as a whole but on a time smaller time frame just ignore what I said on DAX I'm bearish on a larger time frame the smaller time frame is not really clear on DAX and it's not clear on nifty so that's why we would continue doing what we were expecting on a daily time frame instead of running into 15 minute chart we should do what the daily time frame chart analysis is giving so if the an analysis is not accurate on an hourly time frame 15 minute time frame go back to the daily time frame analysis which is bearish on nifty it's bearish on DAX is bearish on FTSE as well on these US indices we are seeing that prices are expected to jump up, up a little crude oil it did not go as you were expecting I would see if I can come up with analysis and we will discuss more probably on the weekend wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye